A long time ago, I used to play Animal Crossing New Leaf quite a lot. Progress had been okay at this point. Add some house upgrades, donate to the museum, gain some shops, etc. But I got a little impatient and wanted quick progress. So I googled farming techniques and found out about time traveling, which involved tricking the game into thinking that days, months, or even years had gone by just by tweaking the date settings. Things I had been waiting weeks to get just took a few days, even less. It was awesome. By going ahead a day, I could get a ton of fossils. I knew that it wouldn't take long to complete the collection. It did feel like cheating, and maybe it was. Many players did this though, and it wasn't hurting anyone. My town was becoming good, more full, more completed. There was a small side effect though, like my weeds. Each time I traveled a few more days, there'd be more weeds. The town was also dull due to the villagers leaving. I didn't have time to convince them to stay. The villagers that were left seemed less friendly. I thought this was because I didn't socialize with them as much. I preferred spending time building on my town. One afternoon, after setting the date back to normal, Isabel came to my house. She hadn't visited since the beginning of the game, so I was intrigued. She tried to convince me to talk to the villagers and seemed concerned about them. I thought about this and decided that it didn't matter. There couldn't have been a negative consequence of not doing so. This is a kid-friendly game after all. Animal Crossing had become quite addictive when I began time traveling. I knew that playing and using this method meant quick and easy progress. I played whenever I could, between sleep, eating, and college. It was difficult to stop, and I had a lot of late nights because of it. I think my family had become worried because I was always in my room. I didn't care though, I was having fun. It was summer, both in real life and in game. Though in my village, every day was stormy. The game was becoming buggy. Most of the game you couldn't talk to the villagers. Pushing A while facing them either did nothing or brought up silent dialogue. I tried to fix a few things with the bugs like resetting the console and updating. None of this had an effect, so I googled the issue, but I couldn't find anyone else with my situation, which was odd. It didn't affect the game too much, so I ignored it and continued on with my village. I had strange dreams about Animal Crossing. Some involved Isabel being depressed and sad. My village and the residents were dying, the place growing empty until it became a desert. I began to get insomnia almost each night. I assumed that the dreams didn't mean anything. Maybe it was just a sign that I was playing too much. My town got more complete every day, but the game seemed to get buggier as well. No one ever seemed to be in their home anymore. They just walked around with sad expressions on their face. And sometimes, it felt like they were slowly following me around. They eventually began to follow me in my dreams at night, not once stopping in their movement. In my game, the villagers only approached when they had something to say, but that didn't happen anymore. Half of me wanted to begin the game over, with the green town and happy villagers. This one seemed too depressing, but I knew I was getting close to completion, and I had put so much time into it. I couldn't let that go to waste. I couldn't stop my playthrough. My museum was full, my home was a mansion, and I owned every store. Now I only needed to add two more projects, as I had 28 and the maximum was 30. After farming enough bells, I donated enough to the first of the projects. I cheated and traveled ahead of day so that it was completed. Now I only had one more thing to do. I chose the fire pit as my last project because it looked cool and I didn't have one yet. After talking to Isabel, I gave enough bells to the guy Roy donation box to meet the goal. He didn't thank me as usual, he didn't even dance, he just stood there staring at me. It was an eerie feeling. I decided to attend the celebration because this would be my last chance to. The six villagers stood around. Isabel gave a sad little speech and there was no applause, only silence. All of the villagers slowly walked towards me. My character's joyful expression was changed to fear, as was my own. Then they just stopped in a circle around me, silent and staring as the music played. The music was becoming loud over time and it was speeding up. The screen flashed briefly into blackness and I could hear the sound of crying. The returning image was too glitchy to make out. The game froze and I stared at the screen in fear and confusion for several minutes. 
I was too addicted to the game, so completely drawn into it, I couldn't stop playing. I launched the game and everything seemed normal until I looked at the menu. All of my data, my completed town, everything was gone. The bugs and the glitches had gone away as well. All of my progress out the window. I couldn't even explain what happened. In my frustration, I shut the game off and cut off my addiction to the game. But my dreams have gotten worse. I was always being followed by the sad villagers. I was in complete paranoia every day after that. I stopped sleeping completely. I knew they would come and find me. I was always freaking out and losing myself. Now, my mom says I cannot leave the hospital for my own well-being. She didn't listen to me when I tell her I'm being followed. She claims it's nonsense and that's something that will help me get through my time at the hospital. She hands me my console along with my buggy Animal Crossing game. Your favorite game. This should help you pass the time, she says with a smile.